How do I get past the gatekeeper when I'm cold calling? I get asked this question all the time. Before sharing with you guys a scripted framework that works, to get past the gatekeeper, it's important to know the gatekeeper is not somebody to get past, rather it's somebody to get with. If you stop having that mentality, it's me versus you, the gatekeeper, and you follow these steps and frameworks, the gatekeeper can become an ally to help you break into that account. Here's the framework and then we'll break it down. Gatekeeper picks up the phone. Hello, this is XYZ Company. Hi, this is Matt McNamara. Can you patch me through to Chris Smith? Who are you with and what is this regarding? Those are the two questions the gatekeeper is gonna come back and ask. This is how you respond to those questions and then we'll break it down so you can use this framework for yourself. I'm about to sound like every other pushy salesperson that calls your office and asks for something, but I'm with IBM and I'm not even sure if Chris Smith is the right person to speak with regarding this. I'm, not, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Christine, Christine, it's great to meet you. But the reason for the call, Christine, is my company, we partner with companies like yours in the Silicon Valley area in helping the IT leaders within those companies reduce the time it takes to set up new devices for new employees. I notice you folks are growing like crazy, 52 new job openings on your website, and I thought we might be a fit to help you out at some point, potentially. Is Chris Smith, is he the right person to speak with regarding that? And if not, would you be opposed to pointing me in the right direction? Let's break this down so you could use this framework for yourself. I'm getting ready to sound like every self-centered pushy salesperson that calls your office and wants something. This is a Chris Voss technique called an accusation audit. When you label negatives, it diffuses negatives. So me as the salesperson, I'm labeling what this gatekeeper is probably thinking. Oh my God, it's another salesperson cold calling the office trying to get through to Chris Smith to sell something he has no need for whatsoever. So by labeling myself as a pushy, self-centered salesperson, that's probably what they're thinking. It diffuses the negative on that cold call. Part two of the framework, you're not gonna state the company you're with, that you're not 100% sure if the person you're trying to speak with is the correct person indicating to the gatekeeper, hey, I'm a lost salesperson, I might need some help getting pointed in the right direction. And then you're gonna use the golden, golden statement that you need to incorporate on every cold call, whether you're speaking directly to a prospect or a gatekeeper. The reason for the call is everybody, especially on cold calls, everybody craves for the reason behind things, especially on cold calls. You need to have that statement in your gatekeeper cold call script. After that phrase, you're obviously gonna state the reason for the call if you have any good nuggets of information research. For this example, I went on the website and I saw they were growing like crazy. Any sort of research behind the call will add credibility in helping you make an ally of that gatekeeper. And the final part of the framework is to include a no-oriented question. People feel safer saying no than yes, especially a gatekeeper who's speaking to a salesperson. If John Smith is not the correct person who would head this type of project up, Christine, would you be opposed to pointing me in the right direction? Nine out of 10 times, if you follow this framework with the correct tonality, tonality is the most important thing with any framework when you're making a cold call. Make sure it's casual, it's friendly. I'm not taking this cold call too seriously. If you have all that working for you, nine out of 10 times, that gatekeeper is either gonna verify that you're you're calling the right person or they're gonna correct you. If they verify, yes, Matt, you know what? Chris Smith is the correct person you need to speak with. Your next question is, any chance you could patch me through to Chris Smith? Now, no gatekeeper is gonna patch you through to Chris Smith. They're gonna put you through to their voicemail. Here's how you handle that situation. Voicemail is okay, Christine. Quick question for you. I've been doing this a really, really long time and typically when I get sent to a voicemail, I never get a call back, it's crickets. I'm starting to think that everybody just hates salespeople. I have a job to do, Christine. If you were me, what would you do to get in touch with Chris Smith? A lot of times, if you ask a question like that, the gatekeeper will come back and help you out. Hey Matt, you know what? Chris Smith, he's never in the office. The best way to reach him is to send an email. Or you know what, Matt? I would call back around 8 a.m. on Friday. He's typically the only person in the office and he's gonna be answering the phone. Asking that question, 
question. Anybody, everybody likes to help people out. So if you ask a question around, hey, listen, I have a job to do here. I have a job. I think we could potentially help you folks out. If you were me, what would you do? What would you do to, to get in contact with Chris to see if we might be a fit to help you folks out? Bring that gatekeeper in. Asking them for help will help make that gatekeeper your ally. Now, for the one out of 10 gatekeepers who are true professionals, amazing at their jobs, and they're not going to either verify you're calling the right person. They're not going to send you to a voicemail. They're not going to help point you in the right direction if you're speaking or trying to speak with the wrong person. How you handle that situation is you can't call a main number. You got to call either a direct line or a mobile line of a potential decision maker within that account. And how you do that is with our partnership with Uplead. Uplead helps salespeople like you and me bypass a gatekeeper to speak directly to a potential decision maker with verified mobile phone numbers, email addresses, and direct office lines. So if you are speaking with too many tough, tough gatekeepers who aren't helping you out, check out Uplead in the description below to get those verified phone numbers to bypass the gatekeeper and get right to a potential decision maker. What do you think, guys? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like this video, subscribe, look out for these videos every Tuesday and Thursday, and check out these two videos right here other cold call videos to help you have better conversations, whether it's with a gatekeeper or a potential decision maker to book those meetings to give you a chance to close that deal and hit your quota. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate you.